Hello, and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren, and I'm an application engineer here at TPM. Today, we're going to look at the last module in the BIM 360 field introductory session. Today's module is going to be the equipment module. The BIM 360 field equipment module can be used for managing all of your equipment tracking, commissioning, and issue-related items, as far as it goes with all your job site equipment. Now, equipment doesn't necessarily have to be objects that you procure and install. It can include any piece of equipment that you want to track, be it uh, concrete pours or if you want to do a uh, core or shear wall. Um, it's much more than just objects that we procure and install, like VAVs, pumps, and equipment like that. So in the equipment tab, when I first click on it, you can see this is the laundry list of all my equipment in my project. This is a fairly extensive list sometimes, so you can use the filtering tools to limit the total number of equipment you're looking at at any given time. For larger projects, this is definitely a huge time saver. I'm going to open up this air handling unit, and we're going to take a look at its properties. You can see on the left all the properties for this piece of equipment. If I want to, I can go in and I can change any of the properties that I want. So I can come down here and I can change its location in the building or I can set its initial location if it hasn't been set yet. And I can go ahead and I can update the status of this piece of equipment from specified to ordered and I can change any of the properties that I want. Additionally, the tabs along the top of this window allow me to access the different modules related to this piece of equipment. So I can see here under the checklist tabs any of the related checklists for this piece of equipment. I currently just have a generic delivery checklist and a pre-functional checklist. And if I wanted to launch this, I could just click on the plus and it launches that checklist. And now I'm starting this checklist. This is a workflow that would be done more in the field and we'll take a look at that when we get to the iPad. The next tab over all the issues related to this piece of equipment. Any issue that's been created that has been uh, linked to this piece of equipment will show up on this list. If I want, I could double click on this and this will take me directly into that issue and I can go in and edit that. So if I was out working on a specific issue on a piece of equipment, I could either go to the issue or I can go to the piece of equipment and I can access that issue directly, do any work necessary, and then close out the issue from there. Under the attachments tab, I can attach any file I want to this piece of equipment. This includes O&M manuals, cut sheets, general information, purchasing, any, any document I want to attach. So there's two different workflows. If you want to manage the documents locally, you can do that and store them on your local hard drive or on your network drive and then upload them to the piece of equipment. Or I can use the built-in project library to store all my documentation and then link the piece of equipment to any of those documents. I want to take a look at this public link tab. If this is enabled in your project settings, you can click on this and it will copy a link to this document to your clipboard, which then can be either pasted directly into a web browser or it can be emailed to somebody and when they click on that it will download the document directly to their computer. There's no need to log in or access the document uh, via uh, some sort of portal. I can literally just enter it and there it is. So here we are in the mobile app uh, on the iPad and this is where most of the work is going to be coming from. And so I can go into my equipment module here and this allows me to access all the equipment in my project. So you can see I have this long list here. And at the top I've got search, sort, and filter functions that allow me to quickly uh, manipulate my list so it's easier to work with in the field on the fly. So I can just go ahead and type in the name of this piece of equipment that I'm looking for and it takes me directly to that piece of equipment, air handling unit number 27. And once I'm in here I can see all of the information related to this piece of equipment. Additionally, here are the checklists that have been linked to this piece of equipment. So if I'm starting my pre-functional checklist, I click the plus and it starts the checklist. As well as any issues that are related to this piece of equipment. And then here we are at the attachments where I can immediately access the PDF that's been attached to this piece of equipment. And then finally, when partnered with Glue, you can actually place these pieces of equipment in a model. And if this has been done, I can click Show in Model. And this will allow me to see the piece of equipment in context in the model. This is useful if you're just trying to visually check what's going on with your equipment during an installation. Well, that's it for our overview of the equipment module in BIM 360 Field. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for joining us for TPM's 4-Minute Friday. 
My name is Dan Warren, and I hope you have a great day.